I'm going to show you how to get the Dragon Scale Blade. This involves defeating the Dragonkin Soldier that we have down in the Lake of Rot area. If you guys don't know how to get here, uh, I recommend searching up a video. This is quite deep into a into an area that you get into quite late game, and I feel like it'd be too long to explain all of it. But we are going to be starting from the Grand Cloister Grace. I recommend this because it's a little bit closer than the Lake of Rot shoreside. And I recommend going out there, lifting some platforms. The, the switch that you need to get to lift the platforms, I'm sure you guys when we get over there, is directly under where this mark is just here, because I placed it just as a fast travel to two here so we could reset. In addition, I recommend bringing along something that can cure rot. If you don't have anything like that, then, well, you're going to have problems, because this is all going to cause rot on you, and that's not going to be pleasant. <laughs> Sorry guys, bit of a hiccup there. So we're going to head on into the Lake of Rot. This is, like, probably the worst swamp we've ever had in the Souls game. Luckily it doesn't slow us down, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, resistance will work on this, so if you bring along a Resistance Charm or something like that, that will slow down the, uh, the build-up of the rock slightly, but I'm going to go with just running on a cross for now. The same mark that I placed leads us pretty much straight to the Dragonkin Soldier, so that's really not too much of an issue. I'm going to wait until I'm about a, a flask worth of health down. I'm going to pop a, health, pop a heal just here. And we'll do the same thing again as we, as we get a bit closer. Now, I prefer fighting on this one here, out of all of the platforms. Obviously, once we're on here, we'll be kind of golden. We can obviously bring our spirit summon into this. That's kind of nice as well. Doesn't wake up until we initiate the fight, which is rather nice of it. Oops, wrong one. Let's get the mimic out here. Realistically speaking, kind of essential to have some help. So we'll just go and give it a tap. Don't roll in this stuff. I would recommend coming out of there as quickly as we can. And then we'll draw it over onto our uh, onto our platform here. Okay, there we go, that'll do. Aww. It's uh, really not wanting to come over to me. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind? I guess right is just going to be an issue here. <laughs> You've got over onto the wrong platform. It's not the one I was after, but we'll take it. Come on then. Excuse me. Yes. Come here. Turn turn on me now. Come on. I mean, it's going to the left of you in a minute. <laughs> okay, well, that went. Well, both messy and smooth at the same time. It's going to reward us with the sword we were after. Rather nice piece of work there. And as you can see, this is the switch that I was recommending that you come and do before you face the boss. And then you want to reset over at the uh, grace so you're not in too bad a condition when, you, when you're fighting it. And that's pretty much going to be everything with regards to how to get that. Interesting that the Mimic is immune, which is kind of nice. I guess if you have a ranged attack, you can let the Mimic tank in close combat and get a bow out. Probably works better. But uh, yeah, I hope that helps you guys out, and I'll see you all in the next video.